He taught me to love my enemy and to pray for those who persecute me and to forgive those who have hurt me. So as true believers, when you are being persecuted for the Lord's sake, why are you angry? Why are you upset? Why do you want a revenge? But I'll say this. Why are you shocked for a true believer to come and say, I forgive and I love that young man who stabbed me. He is my son. Why are you shocked? Listen. I belong to Christ, not to the world. I, my home is heaven, not earth. So therefore, the language of heaven is love. The language of heaven is forgiveness to those who have hurt you, persecuted you, gone against you, and tried to kill you. I will never be upset because this is heaven. God, Jesus Christ, who is God, brought heaven to earth and taught me the language of heaven, the way of heaven, and the uniform of heaven, and the life of heaven. It is naturally now, after being taught by the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who is my king, whom I represent on this foreign land called the world. He taught And land called the world. He taught me to love my enemy and to pray for those who persecute me and to forgive those who have hurt me. This is all I'm doing. What Christ has given me, I'm giving it to you to learn and understand this is Jesus Christ whom I love, I worship, and I follow. Very simple. So that young man is my son. This word is, comes from the bottom of my heart. If I see him again, I'll kiss the hand that stabbed me. I will. I don't just say it, I mean it. Because Jesus Christ is the truth, and the truth cannot lie like Satan. Cannot. The truth will always be the truth. The light will always be the light. It can never be darkness. There is no deception. There is no hypocrisy. There is no two ways about it. There is no mask being put on. The truth is as is. Never changing. So I will kiss that hand that stabbed me. And I will say you're my son. And I pray that you have nothing but the best of the best. I pray that Jesus Christ is your portion. Very simple. You hurt me? Yes. Because of this incident, I lost the right eye. This is prosthetic. I lost the right eye completely. It's not easy. But if you ask me, do I still love you? 100% I do. And I will always pray for you and for your family, and for everyone like you, for the Lord to touch your heart and show you the way, my son, because you are my son. It's not me, it's sweetheart, trust me. I don't learn out of thin air. I learn from my source, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Even in science, they say information must have a source, doesn't come out of thin air. So I received this information from my source. His name is Jesus Christ. If he never existed, why would I behave in this way? Think. <laughs> Please think for a moment. If Jesus doesn't exist, why would I talk like that? Why would I behave in this way? Why would I say I love the one who just took my eye? You know why? Because the eye is not mine, it's the Lord's. And since it's the Lord's, no one can take it. It's very simple. It's preserved. For when the time comes, it'll be given back. You know, if every human being came to Jesus Christ, heaven is on earth. 